thing. Thank you very much, Kylios, for giving me the opportunity to look at this. Because I have many questions about a ribbon such as this. I, of course, will not be re-rolling it, because that is danger, and I do not have permission to do that. But is it re-rollable, period? It is cyclable. So there's that. And I have a couple of questions. So, for anyone that doesn't know, I rolled a very, very good Serenos Riven. So there's that, and you can see its values and all that. Uh, and here's an interesting thing. Uh, can it be equipped alongside? No. It cannot be equipped alongside a Riven, so... That. Let me throw these mods back on. Okay, so it cannot be equipped alongside. But as you can see, it is available for this. I can just throw it on. This just has slightly lower stats. Actually, what is that like all the same shit, basically? Wow, damage, electricity, critical chance. Wow, it's actually the same. That's kind of hilarious. Uh, okay, so there's that. Uh, this lets us look at, I think, the disposition of everything. Yeah, so this is a strong disposition. You can see it because it's got on it. So instead of cryo, we can put this on there. Has been counting stars. Which, Our you'll also notice, uh, Riven mods have their dispositions baked into them. So, if I had to take a guess what the disposition of this mod is, because it is just rifle and um, the distribution of Riven mods goes from about 0.5 to about 2-ish. Uh, like, that's the range. Uh, they have, like, a, like, the scaling of their percentages is generally along a multiplier of some such that goes from like zero to two. Uh, if you look at the data mining, you can see this information. Uh, if I had to take a guess, I would take the guess that this is a one because it is rifle. And that would end up making sense, which makes this better than all weapons that have um, shit dispositions. So if you were to use this on say the Soma, it would be incredible. Which, let's see if you can use this on Soma Prime. Yeah, faint. So, because this probably has a 1, this is probably the single best ribbon you could ever put on this. Just for the fact of, um, of it having a high disposition and, like, these stats, which is pretty interesting. Like, this would, yeah, because it takes you over 100%, so it's immediately better than Argon. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Wow. That's like, that is uh, probably the single best thing you could put on this. Uh, and that's incredible. And this also lets us see one other thing that I'm very interested in, uh, which is, what does the Javlock say? Because the Javlock, uh, for those of you that don't know, actually does not currently have a ribbon. It can't roll a ribbon. So I'm wondering. Ah, neutral. Okay. So that's really interesting to me uh, that it does have like a disposition in the system and stuff, but you just cannot get a ribbon for it. Uh, now, the only other question is if this is still set aside for rifles only. So let's get a heck out and uh, see if that's the case or if we can see some dispositions. Okay, no, it does not show up here. Right. Okay, so it is restricted to only rifles. Uh, but this would allow you to see the disposition of every single rifle interesting and of course we can already do this through the data mines um but this um this is really interesting in term in terms of like a thing that can happen uh, i'd really be curious to know if uh this mod is actually supposed to exist because if this is like a legendary role on your riven unlocking that's awful uh, on this being like breaking away from what they want the system to be uh, and otherwise if this is just a bug then that's fine then it just needs to be fixed uh, but that's a really interesting couple things there because uh, Kylios he just uh, he just rolled that and that is 
really interesting to me. It's the because it lets us know a couple of things about Rivens, and one of those being that the disposition is baked in because you can see like the stats don't change even if I go from like the neutral to strong to weak weapons. Like the Soma didn't have different uh, statistics from the Penta, uh, which is really it brings up an issue with Rivens as a whole where I can ex express this a little differently. Uh, let's um, go to the Cernos series of weapons. So the Rakta Cernos. Well put together, you can see operative. the statistics of this mod that I have. Uh, it is a faint Riven disposition. This mod is still actually very, very good, uh, but the Rakta Cernos is considered faint for the purposes of this. Now, along with that, if we were to go look at Cernos Prime, It also has the same statistics here, and it is faint. Although, I suppose you could argue that Cernos Prime is a really good weapon. You could argue that with me. You'd probably lose that argument, because I don't think this weapon is very good, uh, because its gimmick kind of ruins the weapon, if I'm to be completely honest. But, you could argue that with me. Now, let's move on to a larger problem. This is a regular Cernos. This is also faint. Now, I don't think it is really worth arguing with me that this weapon should not be faint, and that this should instead have a very strong disposition, and this mod should be crazy if you wanted to use a regular Cernos. Uh, so, because they have their dispositions baked into a weapon, that is no good. Because it means that... Let's, let, let me be a little bit more specific. So, if, if we have a, uh, a strong... A, a very, a very strong Riven, like, say, for the Flux Rifle. Uh, if I have a Flux Rifle, you can see its disposition is very strong, which is why you can get such a crazy negative on the Flux Rifle mod I do have. But you would think that, hey, the Flux Rifle kind of sucks. So, whenever it would get, say, a Flux Rifle Vandal, that would come out, and then the Riven should be different, because that weapon needs to be good, right? Uh, if that weapon needs to be balanced around it always having strong ribbons, that means that the Flux Rifle Vandal will come out and be shitty, or it will come out and have a way stronger ribbon than it should. Which is not good. So, probably weapons need to affect ribbon mods, so that DE can actually build on and uh, make variants of weapons that are good, as opposed to relying on ribbons to do all of their work for them. Uh, so, yeah. That's a, that's a thing. Because, like, for example, like, this is a regular-ass Boltor. Faint. A regular Boltor. Why is that the case? This is, like, you, like, you generally, a player would build this at, like, MR1. Uh, if they wanted to come back around and use this weapon again, why should they not be able to? That just seems a little silly to me, to be completely honest with you. Like, we can't come back around, like, if, if there's a weapon currently in the meta that is considered strong, like the Soma, for example, of course, the Soma is very, very strong, uh, this has a faint disposition, which makes sense. But, if you have a player that's a little bit earlier on and they don't have a Soma Prime, and they pick up a Soma, shouldn't the disposition change? Because it doesn't, and there's no real reason for that. So they just presume that you have the strike, like, whenever they go about the dispositions, they just presumed that you have the strongest variant of said weapon. Which seems a little ridiculous. Uh, because you, like, you can't... Like, that's not breathing new life into old weapons. That's, uh, making the powerful weapons more powerful. Which seems to be a trend that we're following as it stands right now. Because, spoiler alert, the Quanta Vandal... This is a faint disposition. The Quanta Vandal is so much better than the regular Quanta that it is not funny. Like, the difference is enormous, but they have the same ribbon disposition. Like, this status of second and this magazine is huge. So, like, they, like it shouldn't be that much different. Like, it's, it's a huge difference, functionally. But, like, they shouldn't be that much different, but the ribbons should be different for these weapons. That's the thing. And, like, the, the best example is truly the Cernos, where the Rakta Cernos is, like, amazing. And the regular Cernos is, like, not even a bow you would use. So why would this not just be a stronger ribbon on the regular Cernos? That stuff just needs to make sense. Uh, 
But yeah, I hope that points out a couple of uh, flaws with the ribbon system, which of course, uh, this is probably just a bug uh, and not a drop that can exist because if this can exist, there is a different kind of problem. So, uh, thank you very, very much to Kylios for letting me look at this thing. Uh, and we've agreed that this video is coming out a little bit later next week so that he can sell this thing before it does get fixed. Uh, so, props to Kylios for being a smart businessman. Uh, and um, I think that's going to wrap it up. Although... <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just curious to the extent of which. But yeah. Yeah, if you wanted to see the... Actually, I can already see this one. Ended up rolling a Simulor ribbon as well. I can already see that one. I, I, a part of me wishes this was, just like, extra broken. What does the Czar have? You troll, that makes sense. Uh, a part of me wishes this was extra broken, and it let me put it on... Um, like secondaries and shit, and it was just a universal mod, just because just because that would be comedy to me, and then it would definitely need to be fixed. Uh, but yeah, that's a, a very interesting rifle ribbon that works on everything. So uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, just wanted to use this opportunity to talk a little bit more about ribbons and how fucked up they are. Uh, and how they can prevent us from getting good variants of weapons and at the same time not fix weak weapons. Uh, so yeah. Later, guys.